you have to go online where more people would see it. Um, they were also introduced to consumer created media, which was demonstrated in their own <coughs> tied stains food commercial contest that they had, where consumers had the opportunity to go on YouTube and create a video of the uh, talking stains booth that they showed during the Super Bowl a year ago and try to recreate that and have a contest. And that's important because it gives a two way instead of a one way communication between the producer and the consumer. And another game of Procter & Gamble was that they realized the importance of bloggers. Um, for example, when um, uh, what was it? the toilet paper company, when they used to have, or their diaper company, Pampers, when they used to have um, press conferences, they wouldn't invite any bloggers. And Google said that they should invite bloggers. That way, they can get positive reviews on their websites and create a better image for their company. So in conclusion, both companies benefited from the swap and they're considering do it, doing it again in the future. And Google and Procter & Gamble, they developed a pretty good relationship and they're hoping to work together in advertising in the future as well. Any questions? Do you believe um, Google and Procter and & Gamble's strategy is the future for all businesses? I think that they both have good strategies separately and working together can be beneficial for both of them since they come from two opposite spectrums. One is pretty laced in the past and Google's a relatively new company. So I think you have to kind of embrace the success from the past but look to new opportunities and technology to uh, you know, develop more. So yeah, I would say it. I mean, as far as like the swapping of employees, like it's a yeah, pretty big step for most companies because yeah, they don't like